All right, welcome to our first episode of So Hear Me Out. I'm Matthew. I'm Isaac. And this is Benin, our resident Sharknado expert. So Hear Me Out, the show where dreams come true. So Hear Me Out, the show where no one hears anyone out and we argue all the time. So Hear Me Out, it's about ghosts? So Hear Me Out, where the bodies are hid. So Hear Me Out, where... where, How did I get here? (laughs) All right, our first topic today will be Sharknado. Bennett, please take it away. Oh, I had to get another bit. That's okay. <laughs> another bit? Ah, oh, great. All right, Sharknado whatever. is a series that's been around since 2013. It is a movie series that became infamous because of how awful it is. Like, it's, they're not good on purpose. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I fell in love with the TV series after seeing uh, the third movie, which they, David Hasselhoff flew to the moon while fighting sharks in space, which is always a highlight. Of course. I mean, um, who exactly. are the two main characters in Trek? Uh, their names are the actors. Or the actors. Actors is Ian Ziering and Tara Reid. Okay, um, is this true? I heard that Tara Reid and Ian Ziering, uh, they, after, while making Sharknado 1, they were like, this is going to be such a flop. They considered yeah. just taking the money and running with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> the no, first it's one's a cultural phenomenon. I mean, if I were a filmmaker, that's the kind of movie I'd probably put together. <laughs> just kind of no you... budget, just kind of. Get get some ragtag group together and yeah. just go with it. Comparing the first one to the sixth one, which I, I'm still surprised it got to six, they're such <laughs> different movies, and they're so much contrast. One's like half serious, like, oh no, we gotta fight these sharks, they're in a tornado, what? And like, they're just doing crazy stuff. And the sixth one's like, okay, they're so serious about it too, which makes it so much better. Like, so we're fighting dinosaurs, but there's also sharks in a tornado, like, they're completely serious. Like, okay, now we gotta hit a meteor with the tail of a pterodactyl into it. And that's only the first, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> like, just to emphasize how crazy... That was the first 15 minutes. Yeah. You knew you were gonna do something crazy. Um, they had a planet full of just Tara Reid uh, robots at one point. Yeah. What oh, was it called? Mm-hmm. Planet of the... Uh, they call it Planet of the Aprils. Uh, planet of the Aprils. <laughs> After... It was great. Yep. Uh, God, that movie was so bad. It was amazing. Uh, they brought back the actor who played the son only in the first movie because there was a different actor played him in the fourth and fifth movie, I believe. Um, well, so, at that point, like, why wouldn't you just stick with the new actor? Because why it's convert, fun. I mean, why convert <laughs> back to the old? Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the change has been made. Just roll. Yeah, so my kinda... question is, how did they handle time travel? Like, what were the repercussions of all of this? Uh, so spoiling as little as possible, like in case anybody. Dude, cares. no one. Cares. I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> uh, Sharknado. If you wanted to see it, you've probably already seen it. I mean, I've only seen the first movie myself, I, but you have to watch the third. Like, the third one's where you get to, the like, third one. Yeah. Just straight third up, just skip wild. the second. Honestly, well, my skip the favorite first scene in all of Sharknado is they're sitting there, and um, the main character, he's like, "I can feel it," and they're like, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "I feel another one coming." Just, like, it makes no sense. Like, there's no reason why yeah, he yeah. can tell well, there's a Sharknado on the wait, way, but he I'm knows. I'm pretty sure it was actually in the first one. Like, in the very beginning, he's like, something big's coming. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, mm-hmm. there's a big storm or something. It's important. Yeah. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. And we're like, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You're a bar on the lakefront. Like, what are you like, he's, like, he's like a local crazy. He's like, <laughs> I can feel it. Dude, you gotta stop. Like, and we don't know how long he's been saying to people, I can feel it, you know? <laughs> It's like, <laughs> they just show us like this one moment, like like he's been knowing it. Yeah, I got right. All yeah. Over <laughs> what is, what is, what <laughs> so getting back to the time travel aspect, basically mm. to have a rule until they go to the future with the planet of the Aprils, where ba- where you only can go back in time once, and then you just go forward from there. <laughs> and so you have Dolph Lundgren's character go back in time. <laughs> And he's Wait, just so how does that work? By the way, how is, that, only is there goes... any like specific reason for that, or is that just what it is? <laughs> No, like, it's, it's like you can't go back in time more than once. You only can go forward. And, like, that's the only... It's just told. Wait, who... It's just straight up told. Who can't? Like, Everyone can. Is that, so is, like, is that like, is a that, time, is it, it's like a time machine? Yeah, it's like the time machine can only work once. Okay. Going back, but it can go forward. Okay. And so they go eventually so far in the future that they can use them to go back. It's stupid, but it, that, that's kind of a movie. Where it's like going forward, charge it? Or... No, it's just you can't go backwards. It's just... It, Why not? What's All the right. point? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Isaac, anyway, Isaac, you're asking too <laughs> legitimate of a question. For this is Sharknado, movies. Isaac. Yeah, you're right. The whole premise is there's a massive tornado full full of sharks. You're right. I'm trying travels. to logic. The, I'm trying to logic this out too much. Go yeah, on. But, okay, so basically, that's happening. Um, they they mess with time frequently, and it um, it basically once you once it happens from there on out, it's it's changed. For instance, uh, the one dollar bill has someone else on it now. Who does it have? It has his friend who was uh, who died at the Mets game. Who died in the subway in the second one. Who had the giant baseball bat? Ah, uh, it's that guy. 
Interesting. Yeah, he's on the $1 bill now instead of George Washington. <laughs> Wait, yeah. is George Washington even a prominent figure anymore? He is, because they show him a $1 bill with George Washington on it, and then he's like, hey. Oh, he's on it with them? Is it like arm in arm? No. Like, <laughs> they've got like... <laughs> no, it changes from there on out. George like... Washington is still on it. It's yeah. just him and one guy yeah. now. <laughs> so it's just him now. <laughs> they, the guy pulls out his wallet and he's like, look, you're on the $1 bill. And he's like, suck it, Hamilton. And like, it was so wait, dumb, but it wait, was like, what? and then he's like, oh yeah, and Alexander Hamilton, you learn how to sing in like 2,000 years, not, oh shoot, time, man, in like 200 years, and the guy's <laughs> like, wow, it's like, I'm really confused what's happening, but okay. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for now. Um, Matt and I were the hosts. Uh, I'd like to thank Bennett for being able to come on the show. Without him, we wouldn't have even had this idea. So, um, thank you. Um, and anything else you guys want to say? Oh, we forgot to mention our sponsor. Oh, shoot. Bennett, please take it away. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Shoe For You. Need a shoe? We got a shoe for you. Plastic, zip ties, missing flip-flop? We got a shoe for you, too. It's all, we only stay on you one shoes at a time. It's a drone that drops them in, but yeah, shoe for you. We don't have a sponsor. That's not real. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> We're not sponsored, but we can be. Also, and if you're watching, please give us an A. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have.